Hi, everybody. This is Professor Monty, and let's talk about income tax. So in this video, all I'm going to do is talk about some of the formulas to calculate income tax, and then I'll do a couple of videos on how to do some specific calculations, one on income taxes themselves and one on FICA, which we'll describe in another video as well. Okay, so income tax, it's based on gross income. We start off with gross income, and that's the total income that you bring in, whether it's money from wages, tips, game show earnings, gambling winnings, any kind of income that you have is going to be lumped in, added together, and we're going to call that gross income. Okay, from there, we have the adjusted gross income or the AGI, and the adjusted gross income takes that gross income and then takes out adjustments. The one big adjustment that we can have is any money we've deposited into a tax-deferred retirement account. We can take that out, out of our gross income. It's going to reduce our tax bill or our tax liability, they call it. Okay, so what goes into the taxable income where the tax actually comes from? Well, we start with the adjusted gross income. And then what we do is we subtract out deductions. And deductions are one of two things. What the government does is they offer us what they call a standard deduction. And they say, oh, you can deduct this amount of money depending on your situation. We'll see it in the examples. Or if you think your deductions are more than that, you can itemize your deductions. So it's the adjusted gross income minus the deductions. The standard deduction, what they tell you you can deduct, or the itemized deductions, which are made up of things like interest that you pay on a mortgage loan, it's a home loan, any charitable donations you've made, state and property taxes you've paid, medical expenses above 7.5% of your adjusted gross income. Those types of things, you can add those all together if they add up to more than what the government says your standard deduction is. You can choose that instead. You list all those out and you say, okay, here's the total. I'm going to deduct that from my AGI, adjusted gross income. That's going to be my taxable income. Once we've calculated the taxable income, there's a tax computation based on that number. That gives us what taxes we have to pay, but then they sometimes will give us tax credits. We would subtract away any tax credits. A lot of times if you have kids and you don't make over a certain amount of money, you can deduct a certain amount of money, or rather you get a tax credit that you can take off of the tax that you owe based on the number of kids you have. Another tax credit is if you purchase solar or high efficiency appliances or things like that, the government's trying to encourage you to purchase those things so that let you write a certain amount of money, get that back, take that out of what you have to pay the government, and then it'll reduce your tax liability. Okay, so that's the idea. Keep in mind these. You may want to write down little formulas for each just so you have a little note card that you can refer back to. Okay. So that's the idea. I'm going to do a couple more videos, one on calculating. There's going to be a couple problems that I'm going to do on calculating how much tax we have to pay. And then another one based on what's called FICA, which is Social Security, Medicare taxes that we have to pay in addition to income tax. Okay, so I'll link one of those videos to this video so you can see it right away if you want to. Just click on that. Remember to click subscribe if you haven't done that. And that's it. We'll see how these work in a couple examples. And I'll see you soon.